Hi everyone, I'm Carrie from The Frog Project and I wanted to show you how to do a netty pot um, called Jala Netty actually. Um, so this is it. You need a kettle. I haven't prepared anything so I'm just going to do it straight away. You need a little bit of water. How much? Okay. You need to switch your kettle on and you need a cup or some kind of vessel. Um, hold on. Here we go. And you need some salt, which I do actually have right here. Oh, now we're gonna listen to the kettle. So, you can use any kind of salt. Um, there's no strict rule. Um, this is actually um, pink Himalayan salt, but that is a total coincidence. Um, you can use as much as you like. So I use this much, half a teaspoon-ish, um, in the cup, like that. And we'll just wait for the water to boil. Um, so this is a cleansing um, technique. It's called a Kriya in yoga, and it um, helps to cleanse the sinuses. Um, it's really good if you suffer from allergies like hay fever and things like that. Um, or if you are living in a place with relatively bad air um, pollution at the moment. So I'm making this video with my brother and his um, friends and colleagues in mind as they're all in San Francisco and the weather or the air is a bit scary with the fires. Um, also really great in this pandemic. <laughs> we want to keep our uh, tracts nice and clean. So here, there's like, let me show you, half a cup of boiling water, um, and I'm gonna add some coal. So the idea is that, I'll add a bit more coal, that it's a similar temperature and saline solution to your um, own tears. So it's slightly salty, slightly warm. Um, when you do this, you're going to feel whether it's right or not right. So I just guess it, <laughs> but you'll be able to figure it out for yourself. So all you need is a hand, a really clean hand. There's no um, special equipment at all needed for this. So it's a bit gross. I'm just going to do it and I'm going to show you. So you pour the water into your hand, into the cup of your hand. You close one nostril and you, you snort it. Try and snort it to here. You'll feel it go in. If it stings, then you need to either make it cooler or warmer, less salty or more salty. You're going to know straight away if you haven't got it quite right. So here goes, pouring in and then snort it up. <sighs> Try again. Other side. So pour it into the hand and snort it up. It feels really nice. You'll start to drip. That's totally normal. So keep going. You'll see it drip. <laughs> it's very attractive. Keep going. <sighs> Feels really nice. So I do one more time each side. <sighs> one more. Okay, this is the best bit. You should have some kind of tissue handy. Lucky I have this lovely clean tea towel. Okay, so this is called the rabbit breath and it basically goes like this. So you're doing this to dry out the nostrils. I have a sink here. I'd advise doing it over a sink or a bath or outside. So you'll feel when it feels relatively dry, blot. And then the nicest thing to do after is to give yourself a little face massage. So you're gonna start to feel stuff build up in your throat and then you can just expel. Um, so gently, if you have some coconut oil, go ahead, but, or just use your fingers <laughs> on your skin. I'm sure it's got a bit of texture to it, so it'll be okay. So just gently across the forehead, Close the eyes if you like. Just gently starting there. And then into the eyebrows, give them a squeeze. Use your thumb and your second finger. 
that's right all the way across to the end and then you can spend a bit of attention in one eyebrow. It feels really good to stay and give an extra massage, then do that. Both eyebrows. And then some gentle big circles around the eyes. And you're just massaging here all of these channels both ways. And then to the temple, so this little spot be by the eye, just use your second finger and third finger just a gentle massage you'll feel a nice pressure whatever kind of pressure <laughs> and then just by your index fingers by your nose i like to do this quite vigorously but you know <laughs> whatever feels good for you and then by your ears so get your fingers like this and by the sides of your ears rubbing up and down this is one of my favorite parts And then same kind of this one, across the lip, top of the lip, bottom of the lip. There you go. And then just some big, <laughs> like your grandma is squishing you when you're two. <laughs> some big cheek circles. And then finish it off with some just gentle, nice strokes of the chin of the chin, of the neck, <laughs> and this should feel pretty good. And one final thing that's really nice to do, get your little fingers, stick them in your ears, and just, <laughs> feels really good. Can't hear anything. And pop. Um, you'll probably need to spit a little bit. It kind of brings everything to the surface. Um, should feel really nice. I love to do this after I've been for like a run or something like that because it feels really, you feel really ready to expel a lot of face gunk, um, but also nice after yoga, which is where I've just been, um, anything like that. So give it a go. Um, this is the Neti, Jala Neti. Um, that's the Kriya, the facial cleansing, the salt water cleansing, um, face massage, the ear, I can't remember what that's called. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter um but yeah totally safe you can't hurt yourself um and do it every day especially in these times when we could all do with a bit of extra cleanliness in there um good luck if you have any questions let me know <laughs> see you soon